And now, your Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first. Well, a happy Monday to all of you out there in Odessa right now. Clear skies you can see above the, our beautiful city here. Some clear skies. It's not like that around West Texas, but it is like that here. Looks like it's going to be like that here in Odessa as we go through this evening. Thanks to our Sky Tracker Network for capturing that picture for us. But look around the state, you can see that it's a little cloudy and a little rainy in some places in West Texas, especially here in Jeff Davis County, the Western Mountains, seeing a lot of those rainstorms tonight. And even in the Trans-Pecos, you can see this storm building just south of I-10 here, uh, approaching Balmeray. That's having 55 mile an hour winds. Penny-sized hail will continue to keep an eye on that for you. And additionally, you can see these storms starting to pop up here in Lee County, New Mexico. That's going to be where we have the biggest chance for severe weather tonight. Now, that big chance is still very small. On a scale of five, this is a one on the severe risk scale. So there is a chance, but it's going to be pretty small. Small, not expecting a lot of severe weather, but hopefully some good soaking rain to help with some of that drought that we've been seeing. We'll take a look at the updated drought monitor here in a minute. But we do have those storms tonight in the northern basin and Trans Pecos as well. A lot of us here in the Odessa Midland area are going to be staying dry tonight and through the rest of the week as we have another very hot week in West Texas ahead of us. Let's take a look at those rain chances right now. You can see those storms hanging out in Pecos and Reeves County, as well as hot, or excuse me, Lee County, New Mexico. Those rain chances going to be moving into uh, the basin here, specifically Winkler County and Gaines County. Just north of our friends in Gaines County there, but now that storm's going to be moving down to the southeast. Not going to be bringing a lot of rain chances for the Odessa Midland area, but up here in Dawson and Gaines County, that's going to be the best chance for rain tonight, and that's going to be the only chance for rain as we go through this week. And going to see a very hot and dry one. The good news today is that it wasn't too hot. 99 degrees the high today, a little bit above our normal of 94. One Five, the record back in 2011. That's more like what we'll see later this week. The good news is right now it's not that hot, but even a little bit of heat is not helping this drought. You can see this red right here is extreme drought. That's a four out of five scale, which means that we are in desperate need of rain in the Trans Pecos in southeastern New Mexico as well. That brown that's covering a lot of the Odessa Midland area and the basin. That's severe drought, and meaning we need a lot of rain. Any chance we can get is a good chance for rain right now. Going to be pretty hot tomorrow. 102 the high, heating up to 101 by 4 p.m. 5 p.m. We'll start to see that high temperature of 102 degrees. You can see those winds increasing throughout the day. We'll see that throughout the week. Pretty high winds as we go through this week, as well as high temperatures. 101 right now in Odessa and Midland. 104 there in Wink. Pretty hot temperatures across the board, and those are going to continue tomorrow. 102 the high tomorrow. 104 there in Wink, and even 106 in in Pecos. Look out, some of those temperatures could get hot. Make sure we're staying safe out there tomorrow and through the rest of this week as it's going to get even hotter, unfortunately. 104 by Thursday and Friday. Good news is we're going to heat off or cool off after that back to the mid 90s. 95, 94 on Tuesday. 96, not too bad, honestly. Katie and I were just talking about this earlier. It's not 111. That's the good news. And the good news is there's an end in sight. 94 sounds pretty good to me, Katie. I don't know about you. Yeah, it does. And 94 especially. A week from tomorrow looks very good. Yeah, we'll be looking forward to that on the radar for sure. Yeah. But 94, love that. 104, we'll leave that back in July. Yeah, so we... Desperately need some rain, though, according to that drought monitor. Yes, desperately do. I'll hopefully try to bring us some rain yeah. coming up. Crossing <laughs> our fingers. That's right. Thank you, Jacob.